A peace agreement between Azerbaijan and Armenia is possible, but only if Yerevan stops imitating its participation in the peace process and constructively engages in accordance to the project presented by Azerbaijan a year ago and which is based on five fundamental principles of international law. According to Amir Bayov, the Armenian authorities are abusing and politicizing various international institutions, such as the UN Security Council, the European Parliament, the EU itself. Thus Yerevan not only diverts the attention of all interested parties from the main path, but also brings the process into a dead end. The ambassador has specified that Baku hasn't set any conditions for the agreement, but I think that for an agreement to be reached, Armenia should adhere to the commitments it already made previously and keep its promises Amir Bayov claims I think that Armenia must re-engage in negotiations on the draft agreement of peace, but also at the highest level, and stop trying to pursue their own narrow political goals on parallel tracks. The diplomat completely rejects Armenian accusations of ethnic cleansing and alleged genocide in the Karabakh region of Azerbaijan, very harsh terms that have been completely devalued by Yerevan, which uses them on every occasion while the facts on the ground tell us the complete opposite. It is Armenia who has implemented a policy of completely ethnically cleansing those territories of Azerbaijanis, who were violently displaced from their homes. The act of genocide was in fact committed by Armenia on February 26, 1992 in the city of Kojali. The city once inhabited by Azerbaijani citizens was destroyed and its population exterminated, including women, the elderly and children. Amir Bayov depicts 613 Azerbaijanis massacred in just one night, but still after 30 years of occupation and puppet regime's crimes against Azerbaijanis, Baku truly respects all the rights of the country's citizens, including those of ethnic Armenian origin, who are all ready to living in Karabakh. The ambassador has announced enormous plans for reconstruction of the liberated territories, highlighting that Baku's goal for this region is to eliminate the consequences of the complete devastation and destruction which was caused by Armenia during almost three decades of illegal occupation. The Azerbaijani government has already spent more than $7 billion to build the necessary infrastructure in that region from scratch. But before doing so we still face the enormous challenge of clearing these territories of anti-personnel mines, anti-tank mines and other unexploded ordnance, declares Amir Bayov, denouncing that Armenia has planted about 1.5 million anti-personnel mines, and the number of victims on the Azerbaijani side is continuously increasing. To date, after the ceasefire agreement, Azerbaijan has suffered 337 victims due to mine terror.